Hello Merrill. It is 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday and here's your video of 19 Blair Road in Armonk. Uh, there's the house in the front yard. You can kind of see that it's pretty nicely wooded on both sides. Here's the street. Very quiet street. Close to 684, exit 3. And um, here's the front yard and the house. Can't really see any neighbors here. And that's the other, that's the street in the other direction. No through traffic here. It's a cul-de-sac. Here's the house across the street. Now I've done a complete 360. Here's the street in the other direction again. Now I'm walking up the driveway. All right, here we go up the driveway. It's pretty secluded and woodsy. There's the front door. There's the walkway to the front door. Nice tree right. All right, and here's the front door. We're going in. As soon as we get into the house, we're in kind of a little entry hall here. And to the right looks like the, the living room, the formal living room with a bay window. Nice bay window and beautiful built-ins here. Oh, well, look at these built-ins, very nice. Pretty good condition. Yes. Freshly painted, looks like. Beautiful. Not nice. all the rooms, but some. Nice crown molding. We could always ask her to uh, freshly paint the inside. As we go back out of the living room, here's the entry hall again, and right here is the dining room with a chair rail, and looks good. Decent light fixture. Now we're back in the entry hall, and down here to the right is the hallway to the bedrooms. We'll go look at that later. Here is the family room with a fireplace, bricks, and show the big window and the door. Right. How beautiful that house. Right. Here's a doorway going out to a patio back there. We'll go outside afterwards. Nice little patio. It's not so little actually. And here's the backyard. Look at this gorgeous, big, flat, grassy backyard. Can't see any neighbors. Just woods on all three sides. We'll go out there a little later. Okay, there's even a treehouse back there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that treehouse. Look at it. Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay. All right, so this is back to the family room now. All right, here to the right, we have here um, a powder room, toilet, sink, cl linen closet here. Two hall closets. Right, two hall closets of standard size. And here is the kitchen. Right, so I see here cabinetry like a little desk, a refrigerator, a bunch of closets down there, stove, looks very white. Here's an island here in the middle. Um, Here's the uh, kitchen another area. Another door to get into that, um, onto that patio. Right, another patio door. And then right here is the breakfast nook area. So right here is where you can put a breakfast table that would fit there, no problem. Um, and that looks nice. Let's see, what else? Open these doors. I think the, uh, is that the pantry? Nice big pantry. And is that the washer dryer? The washer dryer, yes. It's right here. Right, here's the side door to the garage. And here's the washer dryer room right here. So this is a slop sink and this is looks pretty good here. Downstairs. Nice and spacious. Here's the downstairs. And we'll go downstairs real quick. Actually here's the garage. Pretty spacious two-car garage, it looks like. Door on the right. One large door. Downstairs. This downstairs is perfect for the kids' little playroom. It's a perfect yeah, size. Great idea. Put a little TV, a, a sofa, and right, it's a little toys. It's a little room down here, and that's it. It's totally finished. Right, a big Here's a closet for, for the toys. Games. Right, this, is, this would be the playroom for the kids. Right. 
Right. Look at the right this size. Is just, this, is, uh, this is not uh, finished. Right, and here's a huge section of unfinished space that has the mechanicals here, the AC unit, and then this is all very big and unfinished. You certainly could use this. It looks totally dry and usable, but it's just not uh, finished. So, but you could use it for storage, or you could even put a ping pong table down here or something like that. Um, all right, so anyway, now we're back in the kitchen. There's, there's the little the island. Garage. Here's the sink. I did the garage. Here's the uh, breakfast nook again. Now we're going to go back to the hallway, powder room on our left, entry hall to our right, front door, family room to the left, and here we're going to go down the hallway, and the it, first bedroom on the left, this it's a ranch. A no, no Everything's on one story. Here's the first bedroom the is master. The, the master. master. Beautiful view out the back. Look at that view. And, and then closet. here's the bathroom with another closet right here. Pretty good size, certainly a walk-in closet. And here's the bathroom and uh, ceramic tile floor for Mikey countertop. Shower with ceramic tile. And here's two closets. Right, here's two more closets over here. Not walk-in and not walk-in. So that's the master. That's Pretty the master. good size master. Yes. Uh, king size bed can easily be king size, furniture. Right, king size bed, no problem. And then three bedrooms. Right, here we have two more closets, right. both living closets. Right, there's three bedrooms down this hallway, so one bedroom. Another. The here's, Merrill's office. Right, here's another um, that's, that would bathroom. Be this is the kids' bathroom. And here are three bedrooms. One with two windows. This is the corner with two closets. Next one is right here. Two. Again, this one has three windows actually. And again, two closets. All the three bedrooms are decent size. This one's a touch smaller. This could be an office, and uh, this one also has two closets and one window to the front. Here's now the front yard, so you can see what it looks like. And there's the street, probably very little traffic each day. There's the driveway on the right side, and now we'll go in the backyard. The best part. The best part. Mm -hmm. I guess I should shut lights now, right? If you want. Okay, going back down the hall. We're going to go, here's the family room, here's the kitchen again. We'll go out the side door right here. Going out the side door by the driveway. Here's the driveway again, here's the garage, the two-car garage. We're on the side of the house. And here is the little patio, the walkway to the patio. Here's the patio, nice curved stone wall feature. Here's the patio, a little bit of moss and green growing up in between the stones. I happen to like that style. And here is the backyard. Now look at this, big, flat, usable, grassy, sunny backyard. I'm making a full turn here can't see any neighbors, houses, and then here is the subject property. Here's the house, how it looks from the back. And that's the full loop here. Now in the way back, and you probably can't see it, but way behind the, the tree house, even further, is a fence. You can see there the pole of the fence. There's the tree house. The pole of the fence, it's probably 200 feet or more past the treehouse, and that's the edge of the high school track. So you can you have a shortcut here to the high school, Byram Hills High School. It's really close. All right, anyway, that's it. 19 Blair Road. Thank you.